All right, what we're gonna do in this problem is solve this differential equation now, but now we're gonna find an exact answer, explicit answer, a y equals some function answer. And we're gonna start it just like we started the ones on the previous slide. We're gonna multiply everything on both sides of this equation by dx, okay? And what that does is it gives us dy equals 6e to the x minus cosine x dx. And the next step is going to be to integrate both sides. On the left, the only thing we have is y. That's the only variable. So we're going to get that guy like that. On the right, we've got this 6e to the x. Now, we just worked out one that had 6e to the, to the x or a similar problem. So derivative of e to the x is e to the x. So we like that minus and derivative of what is cosine and that would be sine x, okay, plus c. But wait, there's more. When you act now, you can substitute 4 in for y and 0 in for x. So what that's going to give us then is 4 equals 6e to the 0 minus sine 0 plus c, okay? And, and when you look at that, uh, e to the zero is one, sine of zero is zero. So four equals six times one plus C. So that tells us that C is going to be equal to negative two. So for this particular problem, what's the exact answer, the exact function, the exact thing that we need? It's going to be uh, Y equals six E to the X minus sine X minus two and uh that's that's all there is to it that's how you use uh, those differential equations and a specific value that they give you on them